not bad. Not bad. Oh no. What's cracking guys? Omar Esau here. Here with Silent Mike and none other than the Metrosexual, aka the Jack Metrosexual, aka 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 Mark Bell, answering your Facebook questions. If you like this style of content, make sure to like the video and follow these suckers on Instagram. Without further ado, we don't have a lot of time. Let's get to the questions. Who wants to start? I'm here on uh, Mr. Asmus Facebooks. Yep. And the first question Fuck is: books. Are high reps better for safety purposes? Go. Wait. Let's take a selfie. Oh God. Hmm. God, you guys are ugly. <laughs> I believe no, that high reps are not better for safety purposes. A lot of Keep people going. think if you got a broken hip, you got a broken elbow, you got a broken nose. So you're anti CrossFit. Yeah, yeah. So you want to keep doing really high reps. The point of that, uh, it's going to mess you up more because of the time under tension. Your Technical joints are breakdown. Things are normally sure. inflamed. If you're really injured, go to a doctor. If things are inflamed or just hurting, uh, stick to sets of like one to three. Have you guys uh, trained calves since uh, I've been down? Have we trained calves at all? I've been trying to turn my calves into cows. Mike's uh, been my cat. My calves are grass fed. Are grass fed, mm -hmm. so they're they're How homo you? free. Are you, are you guys gonna be at the LA Fit Expo this year? Yes. Yes. Both six twenty six. Six twenty six. Right near a bathroom and an exit, right? And food and We're all the hot girls. Exit. All the hot the girls. And maybe the hottest girl is gonna be there. Maybe Mr. Long Hair No Care might be there. Maybe. I heard. I heard a vicious rumor. Progressive overload versus training to failure. What are your thoughts? So should you try and get better over time or just take sets to failure? Whoa. Mm. Deep, so, deep, deep, <laughs> deep water. Deep water. Deep water. <laughs> Go, Mark. Uh, you, your should always, you should always be trying to get better, whether you're going, uh, whether you're going to failure or not. Okay. You should always be. That should always be the goal. Mark, do you even lift? They want to know. No. No. Hulk or Thor? Ooh. Hulk. 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 All day. Yeah, Thor. He, he's a pansy. Yeah. He's, he's a pansy. He's, he's got long, long, long hair. hair. Yeah, yeah. A pansy. That hammer. Hammer's his. He's got strength. a large hammer, though. <laughs> he has a large hammer. Mm -hmm. Uh, front squats or back squats for overall development? Why What's choose? Overall? Why, why choose either or though? Why not yeah. incorporate both? I always hate that's, those questions. You that's know like I mean? chocolate or peanut butter. Uh, Reese's pieces. pieces. Yeah, no. we know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, right? Give them a dub. Give them a dub. <laughs> Mike, do you even lift? No. Why would you ask me that? What because that they they want to know. That because bitch, you look skinny. You're 110 pounds. You're five foot nothing. You got no athletic skill. They want to know if you even lift. Go check Omar's Instagram for the dunk. For video. the dunk. Can easily be done. Barbell bench or dumbbell bench for chest development? Go. Mark, you're the guy uh, with the big chest. It's always good to lift as heavy as you can, so therefore the barbell. Boom. And pec deck. And pe hashtag pec deck. Hashtag pec deck for the secondary movement. Awesome. Awesome. How many girls stop you in the streets for pics in your phone number? They're talking That's to That's the you. Yeah, uh, me. How many, Mark, Mark, I mean, I mean, come on. I've been down here for a week. How many chicks have approached us? It's been nonstop. It's been nonstop, okay? Non -stop. Cali girls. Yeah. Now, how hot were they, Mark? A C. They were hot. They were, they were C. C. Oh, they're hot. Yeah. My boy. A Zeus, which trains her, he just texted me some questions. This, this just said. So one of the guys that's competing at Rome, uh, one, of the, one of the slingshot athletes, Zeus. he's got what? Almost a 800 pound deadlift, super strong, over 2,000 pound total. That's more than one question? He has three. You only get one. How does it feel to be insta fans? How does it fit? Mark's the insta fan. Yes. Yes. You have 100,000. How does it feel to have people? 100K. Yeah, 100, 100K. It feels wonderful. It feels wonderful. Do you wake up every day and just think, God damn, I'm awesome. I'm like, let me check out how many followers I got. <laughs> yeah. Mark, will you be watching the Super Bowl? I will be. Okay. Uh, I heard a kind of strange rumor that you have voodoo psychic powers where you predicted the Super Bowl. I did. Is this true? In the preseason on uh, number 54, I believe, of the PowerCast. August 2014, Mark predicted the 2015 Super Bowl. So if steroids were legal, would you take them? Actually, let me ask Mike this, because uh, Mark, uh, yeah. If steroids were legal, Mike, would you take them? Why or why not? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't. Th the, the limitation for me is not whether it's legal or not. Yeah, I uh, I don't know much about them, but like I don't drink alcohol. Just and that's illegal. No. And like it doesn't make me feel good. Okay. Like the the good isn't worth the bad. Uh, so I don't know yeah. if the same would be true reward. or not. And I don't like needles. This is, he's getting so many questions here. Billy Billy Luther of Honey Badger met Mike, and he uh, want to know is Mike just really silent? Or is he just passing gas silently and politely the whole time? Wow. Mark, can you give us the smell? Like, it, what's going on here? What, what's this room smell like for those at home? Uh, Mike lets out about five farts per squat rep. <laughs> okay, per squat rep. And he's been doing a lot of high volume squatting lately. He squats three times a week. 
Yeah. And um, yeah. within a given session, he I'm out of gas, if you know what I'm saying. Upwards of 30 <laughs> times. Yeah. Uh, every 14 farts equals a shit. <laughs> so <laughs> you guys can work out some of the math for us at home. Yeah. I'm we exhausted. Can't, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> we can't exhausted. figure out what's going on. So he's producing so much methane, you could say he's directly contributing to global warming. He is, and, and he's uh, also uh, providing electricity for this building. Uh, Mark, you'll know this. Is fat bar pressing really easier on the elbows? Uh, I think uh, yeah, with the wider surface, yeah, it, it can be a little bit nicer uh, on the elbows. Also, uh, any sort of uh, bench pressing, overhead pressing, it can be. Tell us more about your wide different. surfaces. <laughs> this guy's name is Omar Tanoko. I'm going to assume that's how you say it. Boys, can you give him a shout out? He says, today is my birthday. Can happy can birthday, I, Omar! Hey, hey, happy hey. birthday, Omar! Hey. Do you lose strength when you're cutting, and why? Oh, yeah. I say I uh, it, it depends on how long you cut, but go I ahead. think uh, if you do it smart, uh, it, a lot of it's gonna you're going to lose strength by your leverages, not so much by the calorie deficit. Hey, well, talk us through your cut. How did it go for you in terms uh, of strength? For my cut with uh, Coach, 20 pounds you lost. Coach Omar's, yeah. Coach. Uh, in the beginning of it, I lost a, a decent amount of strength, especially in my repetitions and especially in my bench press, um, but a little gained a little bit of weight. Or Once I hung out at that weight for an extended period of time, all my strength came back to my, my also, old gains. Boys and girls, never use the word cut or cutting unless you're actually going to actually get cut. If you're just going to make yourself go from fat to less fat, that's yeah. not cut. If you're that's too fat to less fat. It's called defatting yourself, yeah, right? Yeah, defatted, yes. Mark, uh, great question. Lifting while angry or lifting with emotion and raise intensity, would you say it's good or bad while lifting due to having higher intensity uh, while getting angry, or can you potentially get injured? In other words, should you be emotionally charged when you're lifting? I think it's good to get fired up for each person will be different, but I don't think you should lift mad. Yeah. I think that's a good route to go. It's not, it's not, uh, not going to be productive long term. Uh, what do you losers do outside of the gym they want to know? Like, do you read, do you poetry opera? They're so opera? busy with, uh, you know, eating chocolate, and eating <laughs> cups sure. and stuff like that, and Quest bars. Um, also, shitting. Like, shitting just, <laughs> I shit like four or five times a day, and it takes yeah. up so much time. I can't reach my asshole. I, we've talked about this yeah. already. Yeah, 42-year-old asshole it's, and a 38-year-old man. Yeah. Of the original Star Wars trilogy, which was your favorite and why? Empire Strikes Back. Go. Dude, that's way too typical. What's te what, what does that oh, no, even no. mean? Yeah, that's the second one. What is it? Yeah. Yeah, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, so you, you disagree with me and then you're going to agree with me. Yeah. That's what we Empire call Empire fair weather Empire person. Empire. Disagree. Mark, you? You know uh, which one? Uh, come on, we know you love it. You, he so pretends like, oh, I don't watch Harry Potter. You like Harry Potter. Harry I love Potter. Harry Potter. All right, so Harry Potter? The last uh, one. I like the last one. The last part one. one, part two. Whatever that one's called. Whatever the, the very last one. one. Whatever the very Mark, last one. Mark, back to Star Wars, dude. Come on, first three. Like that. Whatever the first one is. What is I'm New Hope. On what yeah, yeah, New Hope. New Hope. Hope. Episode four or something. Yeah. Yeah. New Hope. Yeah, yeah, now it's That's episode good. four. Yeah, yeah. You can't choose. Or Mark, do you know the Muffin Man? <laughs> Do you the, muff, know? the Muffin Man? The Muffin the Man? Muffin man? The, muffin the Muffin Man! Muffins, the muffins are bullshit. Muff, hey, I love the Muffin Man. Muffins are fucking cupcakes without the icing. Yeah, like, no. They're without the commitment yeah. of the icing. They're healthy, oh, unhealthy cupcakes. Yeah. No. Yeah, muffins are weird. But. I don't know, this is oh. from uh, the Facebooks. Go, go. What's what the brand of wrist wraps have you been using lately? I've been using the Gangster Wrist Wraps. Oh the my Mark God. Bell. And they're all, no, seriously, I, before this, I never used wrist wraps, and then Mark's like, blank, I'm not going to say what he said exactly, because it wasn't play, but he's blank like, blank, 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 uh, I was complaining to Mark, I'm just like, yo, we text, I'm like, sup, babe, and I was complaining about my uh, wrist pain in the squad, he's like, well, why don't you throw on one of the wrist wraps I sent you, <laughs> and I you did, you motherfucking idiot, <laughs> and, I, and I tried it on, and it, it felt great, like, there obviously, the whole low bar stuff, so yeah, so I've been using the gangster wrist wraps. Do you have to have good genetics to be a powerlifter? No. No, no, I think every power is horrible genetics. If you had good genetics, you're going, it's a sport for the rest of yes. us. Yes, <laughs> it's a sport for the rest of us. For everyone that's mediocre at everything. Well, it's like, you know, it's funny, like Jeremy, he was good at Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Right. But that's why he's he, going to the UFC. Yeah, but I thought he was like, I think he was really good, but not like, you know, UFC level or, right. or, or whatnot. So then he did powerlifting and he dominated it. So yeah, it's kind of yeah. funny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyone with any sort of athleticism that comes into powerlifting usually does really well. What's the most chick flick film you've watched, Mark, and enjoyed? Like something you're not supposed to enjoy, but you're gonna pitch, probably Pitch Perfect. Yeah, Pitch, pitch perfect. perfect. You guys yeah. both My like. Kids watch it I really like it though. Okay, it's a really good movie. You mean like really like? Really, it. really, really. It's like funny. It. Yeah. Like I bought it on Netflix, DVD, wow. Blu-ray, and VHS. No. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It How says, about you? Uh, you're too mo cool for no, school. Moonstruck. It'd be my mom uh, watched it, and I love it. I think it's great. One meal you'll probably always eat every single day. Like, what's a bulletproof meal for you? Pizza. You'll, pizza. This bitch doesn't eat any pizza. <laughs> I've been chilling with him for over a week. Yeah. Zero. A lot of sushi, a lot of like omelets, sushi. a lot of chicken. His wife cooks very healthy food. The worst thing we've They're ever ate, pizza. the worst, Mark, was like 
Not even this much of ice cream. I think he portioned it out for us because he's like, like, I think he had more, but he's like, bro, this is all I have left. <laughs> and we ate like so, like, it was crazy. Gelato. No, don't lie to me. Oh, so what, what, was it Talente? It was some gelato, yes. Gelato. Well, so tell me, what's one food that you can depend on every day, like part of your macros? Oh, not what you want to eat. No, what you do eat. Oh. What you eat? I would have gone with I always, I always have some form of red meat every day, whether it's hamburger or steak or something. Sure. That's it guys, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And where can we follow you guys? Supertraining.tv Silent Mike and Mark Smelly Bell on Instagram as well. I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace! Now you can fart Mark. <laughs>